đông chợ dương đông phú quốc dương đông phú quốc dương đông phú quốc nice yeah it's good if that's not rambao i don't know what is where, where are these this is beef with um beef to live grape leaf you know same I'll open your mouth come on mm, it's really earthy it's got a really great crunch to it. It's kind of like eating seaweed, like, like barbecued seaweed. All right, how do we walk across this thing? Yeah, we're gonna go check out the wet market. This is rush hour. All you gotta do is just kind of jump in and uh, try not to get ran over. This is an actual floating bridge. So what happens is when these boats all come back from the ocean, this thing opens up and then traffic just comes, comes right through, right? We talk about organic chickens in the States, but you know what? I, I've never seen a chicken stall like, like, like this one before. <laughs> this is not a petting zoo. I've been trying to figure out why the chickens aren't going anywhere. It's because they're all tied to the fence. Pretty much what this is, is like a medicinal herbal shop. I mean, it's got an answer to everything. You got liver problems, you got high blood pressure, you have diabetes, you have migraines. This, this, is, this is where you come to, and this is the lady you talk to right here, and you figure it out. Do you have anything for insanity? Maybe you eat this, it cures your craziness. I mean, you can't get any fresher than this stuff, really. I mean, look, look at this, you got some rambutans. Michael, these, these are okay? You can get some fruit, eh? Maybe get some fruit for the, the walk? Yeah, but the seed's not poisonous, is it? No. If you eat the seed, you want to shit that out later. <laughs> that doesn't look like things I want to shit out. Mangao. Mang. Mangao. Mango. He's laughing at me. Look at it. <laughs> this is really good. There's just so many different types of roots in Vietnam. There's just so much going on here. It's even kind of it's kind of hard to keep up. I mean, look at this. You got construction. You got all the mopeds. You got the vendors. You got all the, the food markets. And we ha we still haven't even made it yet to the the wet market. So that's where we're gonna go ahead. Watch Michael get ran over. We just arrived to the wet market over here. We're gonna go check out kind of what kind of seafood they have. I just figured out why they call it the wet market, and it has nothing to do that the product comes from wet wetlands. It's that the whole entire market is literally wet, and we should have brought some booties or something like that. Because she's just scaling it out there in the back. That's a huge fish, Michael. Should I scale it? How fresh it is. It just literally got out of the water. One of my favorite things as a child is uh, going out fishing and cleaning my own fish, scaling it. I mean, I'm only on one side of fish. You can see that my hat's already falling off. All right, this is officially my, my completely favorite market. I mean, Vietnamese coffee in the wet market. I mean, does it really get any better? Does life get any better than this? Oh, you wanna, you wanna have a scale off? Huh? Now we're gonna go down its backbone, just like that. Just take the head off like this. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best part of the fish right here. So this is the roe and the liver of the fish. I just want to pet it, it's so beautiful. All I gotta say is not perfect, but really authentic, right? We're sitting here with, with two Cutting boards on the floor, scales all over the place. I got a machete to fillet with. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed with myself. I don't know. It's a good day so far.